So as you probably already know, our channel is dedicated to teaching music theory, chords, harmony, scales, and so on. And we try to accommodate as many different styles as possible, from classical to jazz and pop. If you know us at all, you probably know that we don't take a standard approach and we usually touch on intermediate to advanced music concepts and take them to the limit. Just watch a few videos on our channel or go to the website and you'll find all these different music apps and books that use a, how should I say, uh, let's just say it's a very uh, different approach. And lots of musicians come to us and say, man, an entire encyclopedia of scales with 20,000 pages, or they look at our Harmony Map, or at Tessitura Pro, and you know, is that even music? But yes, of course it is. We're just taking a topic and we leave no stone unturned. That's all we do. So a few months ago, Ariel came to me and he said, hey man, why don't we actually take a completely different approach to teaching all these concepts? And I thought, oh God, no, uh, aren't we doing that already? And then he said, you know, there are some people telling us how our apps are so cryptic and some of the concepts too advanced and so on. So why not take it to the next level and use real life cryptic myths and stories to teach all kinds of musical concepts? Who is doing that? And of course, no one is doing that. Who's going to do that? Well, Beethoven in his sixth symphony wrote an entire storm and included animal sounds. And Messiaen wrote an entire book with bird songs. And then there's the Bill Evans story where uh, this guy would go and see all of his performances and one time he walks up to Bill and asks him, what are you doing there? And Bill would reply, oh, I was playing a giraffe and then I was playing an elephant and I don't really know what I'm doing. So yeah, the series goal is to teach music concepts from a totally new perspective. So in each video, we take a real mystery or phenomena like Sasquatch or the Roswell UFO crash or, you know, whatever. Conspiracy theories, ghosts, anything and all in between. We investigate them and find the musical symbology behind it, always using interesting music theory to solve the puzzles. Of course they're music lessons. Uh, they're weird ones, so I understand the question. Uh, we do teach a bunch of music concepts in every episode. In fact, we'll use whatever musical concept we know to solve each misery. We don't care if it's an easy one or extremely advanced. We'll tackle these mysteries with all the tools available to us. And of course, we'll explain every single concept while using it. So by the end of each video, you'll not only have learned quite a few interesting and should I dare say many times pretty advanced musical concepts, but you'll know more about these phenomena or stories, which by the way are great conversation starters, but also have a new, awesome, and useful chord to play in your band, write music, we harmonize, and so on. By the way, this new chord will be strictly related to the phenomena. So you can then play a Sasquatch chord or a Roswell chord and we'll teach you how to do that and where to use it. So if you're not already subscribed to our channel, please do and hit the notification bell to get notified when new episodes become available. It costs nothing, but also really helps us out. So we appreciate it. And if you want to support our channel, go and visit mdex.com and get any of our apps or books there. They're awesome. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for Crypto Chords.